Howdy gang, Tiger is back. And since today is the 4th of July in America, what better could I come up with to wear? My all blacks, <laughs> my all black shirt that I picked up a couple of years ago in New Zealand. And yeah, I grew a little bit out of it again. Last year was tough, but I'll be working on growing back into it. It's still a cool shirt. But that's not why we're here now. We're here to do a haul video and I actually have some friend mail too. I'm excited about that. It means I have a friend. Well, so what happened was, and I know what this is, but I still figure I share it and I pre-unpacked it because I didn't want to spend half the video um, messing with packing paper and such. But Misty, hi Misty. Thrifty Junk or Vintage Hunter? Well, you all know her. Everybody knows who Misty is. She had this piece in one of her recent sales and nobody bought it. I was not in a hurry to buy it because I really need to slow down on the buying. But look at that. There's all sorts of cool cards stuck to the plastic, but I look at those later. I don't like to, well, just the usual thank you cards. But totally cool. Those go in my collection too. So yeah, she had this record, this um, old 78 record album in her sale. Nobody wanted it. So I said, yeah, I'll buy it because it's, it's the Grand Canyon. It's the Grand Canyon Orchestra or Grand Canyon Suite. And I figured it needs to go back to Arizona where it belongs. It's obviously its home. Even though, of course, it probably wasn't made in Arizona and I don't know the story behind it. I have to look that up and I will. But just the, just the graphics is just beautiful. That's a little cowboy right there. And if it wasn't in such nice shape, I would just frame this piece, the cover, because it's beautiful. But this thing is in excellent shape. It would be a shame to take it apart. Thank you very much, M Misty. It is really appreciated. I'm really happy with this. And uh, I also, well, of course, got some stuff that, some stuff that I want to show you that I am ultimately, of course, going to have to sell, have to sell, unfortunately, because my house gets really full. So I did jump the gun on Christmas. I normally don't, but I found these two hangy pieces. I mean, they're the same. It's the same one twice. So for, you know, for two sides or something, they are really nice. I love the little, the little snowman <laughs> with a scarf. Here's the back. But I probably save those for, no, I don't do Christmas in July. I probably save those for, you know, later in the year. I also picked up, and that was a while ago, but I've had it hidden away because it's so beautiful. Again, Arizona, quail plate. Now this plate is from 1978. It is really pretty. It is a larger one, but it's an excellent shape. No chips, no cracks. And those quails are just so cute. They're awesome birds. They're always running around and uh, when they have babies, the little babies are follow the parent. They're so cute. Then I also have this pie plate. Welcome. With a pineapple that I first I thought was a turtle or a tortoise. But pineapple makes sense because pineapple is a symbol of hospitality. So it'll be a pineapple, but when, you know, one can pretend it's a tor turtle. And it also has a little, little hanger. So if you don't want to make pies, you can hang it on the wall. And it is signed, but I haven't figured out the signature yet. So, that one is a real nice piece, but I have so many nice pieces. Then look at this. That's a nice native designed vase with a saguaro, of course. Perfect for Arizona or Southwest in general. And it is made in Mexico. And of course, I do have a text on there. It is signed but I don't know what that signature is. It just says Mexico and then something that looks like a CD or CO. 
Maybe it's from Mexico, Colorado. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm being funny. And this piece I really, really, really loved. This was uh, totally cool. I don't know if you want to use it as a creamer. You could even use it as a vase. Or you could use it for sauce or for gravy. It is just beautiful. Look at the painting. Now that's a piece that I'm... I'm going to I'm going to hate getting rid of but it is just too beautiful and it also is uh, signed but it's one big smush unfortunately that's not legible and here's the inside that's another one of my of my favorite pieces then I have more pottery more cheeky cheeky buck 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 now this piece is just so cool I mean, blue chicken, you know, aren't all chicken blue? They should be. It's a nice color. Well, actually, it should be purple, but yeah, if it can't be purple, at least it's blue. No, it does have a couple of uh, uh, dents down here, and then this piece, which I have no idea why it was made like this. I'm wondering if it was sitting on something at some point in its life. But I would just like put a little candle underneath or a little tea light. It's just really cool. Now, unfortunately, there is one little issue with it, but it's hardly visible, which is also why I didn't see it right away. So you tell me where the, where the issue is. Have you found it by now? It's hardly visible. You can really not tell too much. It's in the back. It's right... <laughs> now I can't find it. I just saw it going by, but yeah, it's right here is the little the little thing is broken off. But again, it's in the back. You wouldn't see it. I hardly saw it. In fact, when I bought it, I didn't see it. I would, probably wouldn't have bought it because I don't buy broken things. Unless they're special. They're always the exception to the rule. Then there is another little little native looking native looking piece. That again, it's not signed, but it is a real pretty, pretty little bowl. And it's in real good shape too. It's glazed inside so you can use it for food or something. Again, it's not signed, it just has a number somewhere, but... Um, and then I found, and this was funny. Because I got that at Bookman's, which is our local local um, um, trade-in bookstore, where you can trade in your stuff, and uh, I forgot to take off the tag too. But it doesn't really matter, because ultimately, ultimately, yeah, it doesn't come off. Um, look at this. Isn't that a cool piece? Made in USA. It's got the stamper here, or the stamp. Why is my thing ba uh, backwards? It just looks like it. So yeah, it is... It is a real nice piece, and I think he probably gave it to me $10 less than what he should have given it to me for. Because he couldn't really read the price tag, neither could I. I wasn't sure that it had a red mark through it. So I was thinking maybe it was on sale. But I think it was, there was a one in front of the number. So he gave it to me for a lot less. And it's in great shape. Yeah, again, no chips, no cracks, and made in the USA. <laughs> Probably California, I don't know. I haven't done any research on that. Then I found this uh, Alaskan piece. Now apparently this gentleman is an Alaskan, uh, what's his name, Potter? Oh. oh, I knew his name before, I forgot again. He's an Alaskan artist, and there is actually a little paper inside with information about him and his art. Like a certificate of, of awesome. Oh. <laughs> you know that certificate you get that says it's real? That's right here. It's got him on it and explains who he is. Robert Moyo. Kofa, I don't know how to pronounce it, I apologize if I'm 
butchering his name. It's a very small vase. I don't know if it would be a bud vase, probably. But it's got a little Alaskan scene on it. And it's signed, of course. And it is, it is, you know, some, you know, I don't know, what are they, what are they called now? We used to call them Eskimos, but I think they changed that now. I forgot. But it's got the sleigh and the, the dogs on it. So yeah, it's an, oh, I can't tell if it's, if it's in focus, but I'm hoping it is. So yeah, I really like this piece too, even though I have no relation to Alaska. I have some mugs though that I have to, I can probably put together with this. <laughs> and look at this cute little blue doggy. He's made in, he's made in Mexico. And again, we're not focusing. I don't know what's going on with the focus today. It's 4th of July, the camera's in vacation mode or holiday mode. Uh, and, it, and I did bring out that piece to hold behind it, but either way, it's a very nice blue, dark blue little doggy, and it is signed Mexico. Hmm. Uh, I apologize. And then I got those two wheat um, glasses, wheat design. They're very mid-century modern looking. They're real nice, good quality. Unfortunately, there was only two. Actually, I think there were three and one of them was cracked. So I only got two. And I don't know where they come from. I couldn't figure it out. Um, I did not see Libby's on there. And Libby's wheat looks a little different. But they're still very much vintage and very cool looking. So that's something that I, I know some of you will enjoy. And this was actually on one of the older hauls that I forgot before. That's a little, a little piggy board with an advertisement. No, I don't generally pick these type things up, but this one, I don't know, I just liked it. So that's a very nice looking, very nice looking vintage piece. And I've got a little cute witty kitty. <laughs> little black and white striped kitty. It's a zebra kitty. A mix between a zebra and a kitty. It's it's a made of wood. It's open, hollow and underneath. It's a sweet little sweet little guy that would probably go with a with a puppy. They can be friends. I know they would be friends. And if you saw my Instagram, you already saw her this morning. Another one of these wooden statues. I love wooden statues. I don't know why, but I do. Well, the only thing I don't like is that she's kind of glazed. But that's the way that's the way they made her. You can see the little bit of the bark from the tree here still. And she is really she's really cool. I like her. She looks, she looks very, very pretty. And, whew, look at this. Real nice milk glass bowl. US made. I don't know if you can see the pattern. It's got a little bit of a pattern on the edge. And it's signed with a... What is it signed again? You know, I, I, I'm supposed to remember these things, but my rememberer is just faulty these days. It won't let me remember. Zip. So yeah, it is Cleveland USA EO Brody Company M6000. And that is a nice piece. If you're into milk glass or that kind of stuff, it's a real nice piece. And again, a nice shape. I didn't miss any chips on this one, thank goodness. <laughs> then there is my 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 lamp. No, it's a little, it's a little lamp for like a bedside uh, side table or something. I really fell in love with this because of the design. Look at that. And you can change out the design. There are some more. There's a tree. There's the moon. And then there's another 
another one. Look at that, the little kitty and the, and the pumpkin. That's the Halloween design. Now it does have a regular bulb and it works fine. I did notice though it does get fairly warm with a regular bulb in it. But I haven't had any problems with it. I've, I've used it for a couple of nights and it was working fine. Just to make sure everything was okay. But in the long run I probably would put an LED bulb in there. Just to keep it from getting too hot. But it's a real nice piece and it, it just looks vintage, doesn't it? And it's wood, it's not plastic. I, uh, that's the kind of stuff I like. That's, that's really, yeah. I love, I, lo I don't know why I love wood, but I do. And then there's another piece that is really beautiful. That's a little, I don't know if it's crystal. Probably not, it doesn't feel like it. It's, it's very light. And it is very, very thin. It's a nice etched glass cookie jar or candy dish or whatever. Uh, it does have a couple of flea bites, unfortunately, on top on the edge inside. Um, of course, when you buy these things, they are taped together. So you can't look at them until after you get them home. And uh, yeah, there are like one, two, three little nicks. I don't know if you can show them on the camera. But that's the only downside. But if you put the lid on, you really can can hardly see them. I mean, if you look for them, you'll see them. But if you just look at it like that, you you can't really see them. Like this one here, you can see a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Is it focusing? Yeah, right there, you can see it a little bit. But other than that, I mean, it's a beautiful piece, and I'll probably let it go for a beautiful price with those little nicks and someone is going to enjoy it I know it it's a beautiful etching you can see right here so and then I don't know if I if I had that in my last haul that's an old that's that's not too old that's a old German what's it called whiteware that's a Schmeitz pot it says schmalz topf on there. Now schmalz is fat, fat from from pigs that people use. Kind of like bacon grease, except it's not a grease that comes from cooking something, but it's it's made, and it's yeah, not something I would ever use, but I know some of you do. And this little piece, I'm especially happy because it still has the lid. Those lids get broken or lost a lot. I actually have a real nice one from my mom. That's a big one with a f was for fish and had a nice lid with a fish on it as a handle. I broke that. Still have it. The broken lid and all. But yeah, it's broken. Which is a shame. It bothers me every time I see it. I wasn't paying attention. But it happens. So yeah, we'll leave it at that for today. A little bit qu quicker and shorter and faster. Oh, wait, I forgot one piece. One little, which I don't know if that's something that anybody would be interested in buying. It's rather large to ship, but it's a real nice wooden, wooden uh, box. It's long. So I don't know what you could put in there. There are probably things that people would store in longer, thinner pieces, but look at the Look at that. It looks like handmade, hand painted. It is just beautiful. I just really like it, even though it's not purple. But I do like that red and the black combination. That dark red or cinnamon, whatever you want to call it. So that's another piece. But it's longer, so I don't know what that would cost in shipping. I would have to measure it. Um, it probably doesn't fit into the... It probably more than 12 inches. But then it's thinner, so the cubic cubic inches would probably work out. But, either way, I was of course going to uh, announce prices along with these items, which I'm not doing now because, I don't know, yes and no, I should, because you guys want to know how much something costs, so you can send me an email and purchase the item. But... By the time I'm done talking about them and admiring them while I'm talking about them, 
My head is just not on price. My head is on the beauty of the piece. And maybe the flea bites. Dang flea bites. I just hope those fleas had a good meal. I just hope they, they liked it. They had some, got some good out of it. Who knows, if they did, then more power to them. Then I'm all happy for happy fleas. And with that gang, you know the deal. Y'all, just keep it real. Happy fourth.